he is Shin's least favorite deer Pokemon. Probably. No, yeah, yeah, he is. He deserves it. Him have puffy cheeks. He has Shin, a butt face. Shin is disappointed. Yeah, I don't like butt face. I mean, it's, just, it's not his fault, but still, I don't like it. His name is Odoshishi. And then there's Smeargle, who has a remarkably interesting ability that is not used in any way effective, unfortunately. Oh, uh, no, he might have some place in competitive because he is the most versatile. Yeah. He can't do anything well at all, but he can do anything. Mm-hmm. Unlike Poor. Mew, he can literally move, learn any move he wants to. He can learn Mew if Mew were a move, mm -hmm. but, it, but it isn't. Yeah, he can learn any move at all as long as you fight someone and they use that move. Which makes you wonder how you get certain moves, but... His name in German is Far Beagle. <laughs> that sounds German. As opposed to a Near Beagle. <laughs> Grover would be happy. I always called him Smurgle, but Smeargle makes more sense, I suppose. He's a pretty swell guy. He's a doggo, but he paint with him he, tail. He does a blep sometimes. He does do a blep. He does a blep over in this corner. <laughs> he goes over to the corner to blep. You can see him blepping off the side of the screen there, just barely. He blep. Stealth blep. And then you have Tyrogue, who is a very interesting Pokemon. He can evolve into either Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, or Hitmontop, which you will see next. Spoiler. All dependent on what his stats are. If he has higher attack, he becomes... Hit on Lee. If he becomes... If he has higher defense, he becomes... Hit on Chan, but you knew that. And, and if he has higher speed, he becomes... No, or if they're tied, he If they're tied, that's right. Hit so sounds top. pretty unlikely. Yeah. Although, that's what I got in Go. Well... I ended up with a Hit on top. Well, Go doesn't have attack or defense. Yeah, it does. No? Attack and defense oh, yeah, are the only stats. There's no speed, There's speed. necessarily. Now, I wonder if it follows the same rules. Yes. Oh, Lucky. Yep. Um, I don't have a Hitmonchan, though, so I need another Tyrogue. You don't need a Hitmonchan. Yeah, I do. I kind of like the shiny. Yeah, the shiny is a nice color palette. He is a Nido Man. Um, it's, I think, the only evolution with that unique trait. Uh, unless does, um, Wormpole work that way? No, Wormpole is RNG. It's just random. Yes. Good, uh, isn't it? Yeah, that sounds obnoxious. I thought it was by gender when I first did it. But that's, um, Worm Adam and... What's the other one? What about Worm Adam? That one's gender defined, isn't it? Yes. Which one it evolves? Yes, Worm Adam. Or Carbink, is that the Moth him. Moth him, that's right. Carbink is a stone. And then there's him on top. Hitmontop had a fairly significant change over the development process. Oh, yes, he did. An enormous design. He's kind of short and tubby now. Uh, he was a lot slimmer. Oh, I better tell the beta design. Yeah, the I know. Beta was the beta different. looks way different. The beta has six feet and, like, a dog head in the middle. No, it has, like, a weird... It has a weird head. Just, it is weird. Um, no one wants to. Package. Package? It's on some old packaging. Or it's like a... a beta. Ma no. Oh. Manga. Maybe not. Early. This. This is what it used to look what like. What the heck? Yeah, Hitmontop's had a that lot is, of That's variety. not even Hitmontop. What is that? Let's see here. Oh, look. That's a cute drawing. Whoever did that, it's on Pinterest, so I don't know who made it. That's cute, training Tyrogue based on what you have. It's neat. Um, what's this from? I do not believe that's a hit on top. When you see the full version, it'll make sense, but I can't. Here it is. See, he's got a little top what base. The heck? Six feet. So whoever drew it just didn't know what they were doing. There was a thing in the back. Grouchy turtle. Oh yeah, it's um what eventually became what's your shell on Oh our shuckle? No, the the water turtle. Squirtle? That fossil. That's from another generation. Yeah, what's it called? Uh Caracosta. How do you spell it? Tertuga? Tertuga.
how you spell it? T I R T O U. G A. Yeah, see, oh. it's concept art of Tortuga. It is a weirdly colored. And then it became instead of being a terrapin, it became a sea turtle. turtle. Yeah, he has pre. There's the fuller version. Huh. I like what we got. That one's redrawn by a deviant art artist to get the other crap out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, that's stuff you didn't know about. There's a lot more pre-release images than you know of. So here's him on top. He becomes player two when he is shiny. <laughs> well, is not what shiny it's is. It's blue versus red. Well, I'm just saying a lot of times if it's red and blue, I would call it player one, player two. Um, he's a pretty swell guy. He moves his legs like he's on roller skates when he's like dancing back and forth. I think it's kind of funny. Um, he's okay. Not exceptionally remarkable, but none of the Hitmons are super remarkable. But he's okay. Uh, his name in French is Capoeira, because in Japan it's Capoeira. <laughs> um, so you do the Capoeira with it, and he's it's a type of self-defense. And then there's Smoochum, who becomes Jinx. I don't dislike Smoochum as much as some people. He's okay. It's not like the best Pokemon ever, but it's cute. It does its job all right. And then there's Elekid. Elekid's pretty swell. He is a, a he is a plug without he swings, a ground. He swings his arms around. Yeah, he does, and it generates energy. And he has to do it after he finishes using a lot of electricity to regenerate his electricity. This um, is a fun detail. It is fun. Also, um, he is a plug that is not grounded. There's no ground plug on there at all. Um, his shiny is just a slightly yellower yellow. And then there's Magby, who is okay. The orange is a nice orange on the shiny. Um, I probably like Magby more than Magmar. If the if it's because the cuteness lets in a little bit. It's a it's a babby. Squish face. And then there's one of the Mill most, Tank, the Mill Tank. Oh yeah, yeah. It's one of the most notorious Pokemon in the history of playing the games. Because of awesome. what's his facey McFacer Whitney. Whitney, yeah, Whitney's Mill Tank mm -hmm. will ruin a lot of people's day. And the blue Mill Tank looks funny. The blue Mill Tank does look very funny. Blue nipples. Hey, you do you. Someone had to say it. You do you. I don't judge. And then Blissey have very many hit points. Um, her name is Happiness in uh, Japanese, more or less. Um, and look at those stats. Let's see how his, offense, how his defensive stats are. And, and physical heat stats are. Huh! <laughs> Sorry. Seven. 255 on the hit points. Which is the max, I guess. But <laughs> Almost no defense. It's 135 defense special defense. Attack and defense are both defense. 10. Yep. It's, it's a damage sponge while you do other things, basically. Right. Wow, that defense. Yeah. Um... It's okay. If you could have a way to remove Stealth Rock with it, that would probably be a really nice use. <laughs> um, and then you have the legendary trio for this, which are the legendary question mark, question mark, question marks. Shiny Raikou looks fantastic. Hamsters. It look, it Shiny Raikou looks like... It looks better than regular Raikou because it's more color coordinated. It does, but also it kind of looks like Chester Cheetah if Chester Cheetah were a legendary Pokemon. What? Look at him. He's got, like, the stripes going on. He's orange. <laughs> Why? Spot. What? Why did you make him into Chester Cheetah? I'm not questioning it. I'm just asking why. Why did I question everything I nerf? Because, look, Chester Cheetah's got the disc going on with the... Oh, he actually God. has more of a beard he's going so on. He's so scrawny. But he's got more like a Fu Manchu going on with the teeth. And he's got the this the the cool helmet going on, and then he's got the bright orange. He's a swell guy still. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Chester Cheetah. Those commercials are funny now. I like him. But um, the game was bad. <laughs> he fall through the floor forever. Um, he is oh, called guy. Raiko in Japanese, and he is called Raiko in English, and Raiko in French, and Raiko in I think German. It basically means lightning. He is a pretty cool guy. 
Although, Very of nice. the three, I think he has one of the weaker head designs with the weird fluffies. I said they're both, most of them are kind of weak, except Entei. Entei is, ne Entei is next. He's a pretty swell, skronk-looking doggo. He's a tail, but I suppose... That, well, or a nose, but... He's a swell, skronk-looking doggo. He is the fire of the friends. His name is Entei. His, he's a fiery something. He's also Entei, Entei, or Entei. Um, he, he, he do the fire and it make you hurt. It's bad. Don't, don't get hit by him. And then Suicune, who's... I don't like Suicune's design Suicune, at all. I really like Suicune's design. It has design. the same weird purple cloud on it, and it's just... All of its features are just, like... Looks like someone just took an eraser and rubbed it all over Suicune to wipe away all of its At features. one point there was a design of what looked like basically Suicune and, um... Entei, or Suicune and, um, Raikou merged together. This is official Pokemon art. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so now does Suicune look better now? It was like a bad... Like, something from like He-Man or something. So now does this Suicune look better? A little. Suicune's pretty swell. I like it. It's an icy doggo. I don't know if I can let you like I'd it. I'd be best friends with him. He would eat you. It takes... It drains the Pokemon that you're fighting its power points twice instead of single Pressure time. is very common for um, legendaries. legendaries. That's pretty swell. It's not that good. Um, he's okay. I like him. I would have him as a pet if he wanted to do such things. He um, has to roam everywhere, so it wouldn't happen. <laughs> he would run away. <laughs> yeah, he's always running away. Even when he's asleep. <laughs> yep. Um... Well, then, even while prohibiting you from running away. And then there's little friendo dragon that's not a dragon. He's a ground rock little guy. Uh, his name's Larvitar. Because Larvitar. because he's secretly a caterpillar. Um, he is very green when he's shiny, and I didn't get one on Pokemon Go, and it made me it's sad. Fine. And then there's Pupitar, who's very purple when shiny, and he is uh, not even secretly a chrysalis. But he can fight. He's the hard shell Pokemon. He gets so purple. And then there's Tyranitar, the one who can destroy whole mountains. Just by... Bro. He becomes gold when he's shiny. And then his super mega ultra giga form that kills all the mans. And... He just does a bro fist and everyone dies. Let's see here. Where is that information? That's what he looks like, by the way. Let's scroll up here to... The effects of mega, mega Evolution make it more ferocious than ever. It is unclear whether it can even hear its trainer's orders. See, Did, Mega Evolution is just bad! Do the colossal power poured into it, this Pokemon's back split right open. The destructive instincts are the only <laughs> thing that's keeping it moving. Yeah, no, if you read them, like, all the Mega Evolution things basically say that that Pokemon is suffering. At least in Ultra. I mean, in Sun and Moon. The, yeah, the, in 7th Gen. 7th? The Rotom Dex, I think he's just... He's it's like, yeah, you know the Pokemon's full of lies? I can do lies, too. Well, are there even Dex entries in regular Sun and Moon for Ultras? Yeah, so or for I Mega mean, for Evolutions? Why? No. I don't think there are. Well, then, yeah. You wouldn't have known before that. Bomgiras. And then there's Lugia, who Shin insists should absolutely be a water type. Yes, flying water. It, it is is water. It's every water in every way but type. It's a pretty swell guy. I have a shiny of it. I'm actually considering trading a shiny of it for a shiny Kyogre just because what? I don't have a shiny Kyogre. That's and not how you trade. You don't trade away things you only have one of. I don't have a choice. There's no other way I'd be able to get another shiny legendary. Hmm. And I already have it in my decks at least, which counts for something. It's the diving Pokemon. Exactly! It flies using hands, but they're also wings, but they're hey, hands. Hey, the will just say, hey, it's underwater, Pokemon. And then there's Ho, who is amazing in the shiny form, but Shin doesn't like it as much as I do. It's I like colorful. I like both versions. Don't get me wrong. I like both versions, but that orange and gray is mm, delicious. Gray. Delicious. Oh, it's so good. I like it. It's swell. 
He's a he's a neato guy. He brings the rainbow with him. No, he does. He brings the bad rainbow. Um, he is he is. Um, uh, what's it say here? What are the decks and trees? You're basically guaranteed happiness if you see one. If I remember correctly, it's is more what it says. Mew's thing, isn't it? No, Mew is about pure of heart and wants happiness for you, but actually, like ho oh, like. Is guarantees lucky. happiness. Dex entry. You have four percent point four percent catch rate. Um A vivid rainbow gives me protection. How can this be? My HP is reduced halfway? It's no good. Even my <laughs> rainbow is faded away. I leveled up! Let the seven colors of my rainbow blaze across the sky. See, your rainbow only has like three colors, I'm sorry. It's a really bad rainbow. Um, legends claim that if this Pokemon flies the world's skies continuously on its magnificent seven colored wings they're not seven colored uh, a legend oh, yeah but that's because when it was designed it had a limited color palette well, of a should, Game Boy uh, and they didn't update it because Pokemon games are never wrong legend says his body glows seven colors a rainbow is said to form behind it when it flies it was revealed in the Pokemon anime like a year and a half before Gold was announced. <laughs> uh, it will reveal itself before a pure-hearted trainer by shining its bright rainbow-colored wings. Um, legends claim that this Pokemon flies over the sky. Oh, its feathers glow seven colors depending on the angle at which they are struck by light. These feathers are said to bring happiness to the bears. Ah. This Pokemon is said to live at a foot of a rainbow, so he is secretly a pot of gold. Um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> no. I wish. <laughs> it's feathers which glow in seven colors depending on which angle they are struck by light are thought um, to bring joy. This is that all hoes are just being viewed from the same angle. At yeah, all the times. same three angles. Um, it's said to live at the foot of a rainbow. I glow seven colors. It flies. It's very interesting that the rainbow Pokemon is a fire Pokemon, though. I think that's an interesting idea. Well, he's like he's based off of the ho, which is like a Japanese. Phoenix. Yeah. It, yeah. It does a hot. Um, so that's seven color wings. Yeah, it is said those who see Ho Oh are promised an eternal happiness. I really wish Ash Ketchum knew that because there were a lot of times he wasn't happy in the anime. Well, it was it, clearly the legend was not true. Yeah, apparently not. But yeah, well, so. Say eternal happiness. Yeah, it oh, does. It does. Oh, well, the legends were wrong. Yeah. Or he saw just yeah. a Ho Oh balloon. It possesses seven colored wings. It is said those who see ho o -Oh are promised an eternal happiness. Well, whoever said that was wrong. <laughs> um, or ho -Oh just doesn't keep promises. Yeah. He's pretty cool, though. Um, I he's really, cool. really like him. I like him more as legendary now than I did as a kid. He's neat. <laughs> and then there's the time traveler Pokemon. Yeah, he's pretty groovy. You see only the shiny version in Mystery Dungeon, which is unusual, because I don't actually think to date there's ever been a second opportunity to get a shiny. Has there ever been a first? Yes, and it was Japan only. Isn't it always? Um, since then, you've never been able to get a legitimate shiny Celebi, ever. Um... It's a pretty cool guy, um... It should be a fairy type. Shin absolutely insists it should be a grass fairy type. I mean, look, it's a fairy. It has fairy wings. You can't see from there, but I do like shiny Celebi, though. Shiny Celebi's neat. I That's like both thing. Celebi's. It's swell. Yeah. Um, this one is not nearly as much of a mythical that I like compared to first gen and third gen mythicals. I really do like Celebi still. <laughs> the personality is swell. I really liked how they created the character in mystery dungeon but of the first three mythicals it's my least favorite um but it's still a neato guy i'm a sucker for mythicals mm -hmm. except maybe Genocide. dark guy is not oh, really a, no. he's okay i mean he's too edgy he's an okay design but yeah he's he's much more like a legendary than a mythical as far as design Shiny Trico is really cool looking. I like it. Looky. Oh, whoa! I prefer the regular, but whoa! I like whoa. it. It's neato. That is 
crazy. I like his art. He's like, no, no, guys, guys. Yeah, everybody calm the hell down. Just, just chill. Just chill. And then we have the important act. to the plot of the thing. His also name is crazy shiny. His name is Juptile in Japanese. <laughs> what? Juptile. What's wrong with that? It sounds funny. Kimori. Your name is He's Jupiter. the wood gecko Pokemon. All three of the Gen 3 starters get Megas. I like Sceptile, even if his tail is an entire tree. Yeah, his Sceptile's neato. Um, he's, he's he's slightly fun. differently colored than the, than the previous one, Shiny. Yep. Just look how smug he is. Yeah, he's smug. He he's got a whole tree on his butt. Of course he's smug. Why wouldn't I, you be oh, smug I if you I do tree like Mega butt? Sceptile, and he becomes a dragon. Are there no Mega forms in Gen 2's starters? Yeah. Uh, the starter? No. The only Mega Stars are from Gens 1 and 3. And there are no Megas after Gen 5. With only Me Gen 5 Mega being Audino. Huh. After they stopped carrying out Megas because Z moves! Whoa! Yeah, because Z Splash is so good. <laughs> um, so you have no Splash to use it. Mega Sceptile is a little busy looking. Um, yeah, but... I bet there's a better angle. He actually fired off this. his tail like a missile, apparently, which I think is hilarious. That's spectacular. He can shoot a whole tree at you <laughs> from his butt. Or is that just regular stuff? No, make more sense for Mega. So yeah, it's an inspiration on Mega that's not about them suffering. It's about them. Oh, I guess part of uh, the bit about lizards detaching their yeah. tails. No, yeah, this yeah, one just throws his tail at <laughs> yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, he he takes the skink thing to a whole nother level. He takes his tail off and then beats you with it. Shiny Chikorita, or Shiny Chikorita, Shiny Torchic, <laughs> Shiny Torchic is color reversed of itself. The The lights are dark oh, and the darks are light. Good. It looks yeah, it looks like nice. It looks like a combust skin. It, it looks more like a combust chicken. <laughs> and then you have Combuskin. It's a Combuskin. It's shiny, looks almost identical, except it's eye color. Weird. And then you have Blaziken. He is a fighty man. He is a firefighter. He can but not fire. like as in he puts out fire, but as in he fights he and is fire. a fire. His name is Bursiamo in Japanese. And he has a mega evolution that looks like this. It's a kind of neat one. It's pretty serious looking. He looks like he gonna fight you. Um, What's his mega evolution say? Evolve Combuskin. Is Gen 5 Mega Evolutions? It, Gen 5's only Mega Evolution, I believe, is Audino. No, Gen 5 is where Mega Evolutions are from. Gen 6. Oh, Gen 6? There are just no Mega Evolutions okay. in Gen 6. Ladies again, incredibly strong legs. And Gen 7 is where they have a description? Yes. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they have locations, no description, so they must not be in the decks by default. Nope, so no description. So yeah, no, the shooting the tail up, it must have been from regular Sceptile. I like Swampert, I don't... Oh, we're not there yet. Yeah. I like Shiny Mudkip. Yeah, Mudkip and Shiny Mudkip are swell. Memes, but I don't care because it's still a cute axolotl. Its name in French is Gobo. <laughs> Hydropy and... German. Numa Craw in Japanese. Marshtomp is the awkward teen. It definitely looks like it. His head looks like he's being forced to smile. He is Hey Arnold. He is a little bit. Swampert is a pretty swell guy. Mega Swampert's a little I don't edge. like because the, what man I mean call me pay, but look at the way he stands. What do you mean? Look at where how his weight is distributed. He stands like the Hulk. No, he stands like... His feet are, like, back here, and the rest of his body is all way over here. It just... It's no, I think his lower body is just really small. No, like, I've seen his three... Him in 3D, like... He's, like, leaning... He's hunched way over. Well, his arms like are that. heavy. Like that, yes! But the thing is, his arms are held off the ground. Yeah, that's so he can get scronker in his legs. He missed leg day. Yes, but how is he... Physics! His center... He has no base beneath his center of mass. He's and getting scronk, okay? He, he can't 
break physics like that. Shiny Puchiana is really nice. I like it. I it's like a red blonde nose. doggy. I think his red nose is kind of funny. They're red nose, both of them. Bobum. It's the second dark doggo, but it's also a hyena, which is notably not a doggo. It's a fake doggo. It's actually more like a cat than a dog. It, it's a it's a dog-shaped cat. <laughs> it's a firm cat. It's a spy. It's a firm cat. Yeah. It's a spy. And then here's Mightyena. Mightyena is cool, and Mightyena has a really cute picture on a card. He looks too, he's too angry. I mean, I guess I would be too if I were angry, but... Eh. It has this super adorable picture. I absolutely love this image so much. Oh, the happy mighty Anna? Yeah, he's so sweet! <laughs> Aw, doggies. I love dogs. Even bad guys love their mothers. Doggo is a doggo. Yeah, I would imagine you don't want to hurt a bad guy's mother, because if a bad guy's willing to do things that they normally do anyway, imagine what they would do to someone if you hurt their mother. <laughs> well, if they love them. Zigzagoon and Lanoon have great dex entries. Zigzag oh. <laughs> so, Let's go read some of them off, yeah, shall we? So, so Zigzagoon... Um, <laughs> Zigzagoon relentlessly wanders everywhere at all times. This Pokemon does so because it is very curious. It has become interested in anything that it happens to see. It becomes interested in anything that it happens so to see. So it's just completely obsessed with everything all the time. Yes. It is the most energetic cheerleader Pokemon ever. It has, it has no attention span, it sounds. The hair on Zigzagoon's back is bristly. It rubs the hard back hair against trees to leave its territorial markings. This Pokemon may play dead to full foes in battle. Well, you're going to win battles that way. Nope. Rubbing its nose against the ground... Wait, play dead? That's implying again that Pokemon die. Which wasn't brought up in the anime until like season 12? 15. Something like that? Yeah. Rubbing its nose against the ground, it always wanders back and forth in search of something. It is distinguished by the zigzag footprints it leaves. <laughs> um, a Pokemon with abundant curiosity. It shows interest in everything. So it always zigs and zags. <laughs> what? <laughs> That doesn't make sense. It walks in a zigzag fashion. It's good at finding items in the grass. So I don't and zig even and zag. Does that mean I'm not interested in things? Nope. Oh no. I mean, we already knew that. It's good at finding items, even though that's never a thing that you can use them for in the game. Yeah, it is. Oh, you can have them search. Look at its um first ability. Well, that's after battle. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you can't release it to look around on the ground for stuff. Yeah, but apparently he just does that when I'm after battle, and like, hey, look what I found. Yeah. I'm just talking specifically about that situation. That you can't release them to help you look. Its name in Japanese is Jiguzaguma. Jiguzaguma? Yeah. Zigzagma? Yeah. It's Guzma, but zigzag form. <laughs> <laughs> it walks in a zigzag fashion It's good at finding items in the grass and on the ground A Pokemon with a bunch of curiosity Zigzagoon wanders everywhere at all times Dosa is very curious It is interested in anything that it sees It's hair rubs Fun hair just rubs interested in everything ever. yeah, It doesn't know how not to be interested in things And then we have <laughs> Lanoon. <laughs> Which is pathetic and hilarious. Lanoon has one of the most frustrating sounding dex entries of all time. <laughs> but it's comical at the same time. Lanoon always runs full speed and only in straight lines. If facing an obstacle, it makes right angle turns to evade it. This Pokemon is very challenged by gently curving roads. <laughs> it cannot cur tur curve. It can it just... It's the Swerve Star... It is the Swerve Star. Yeah, but to continue this. When hunting, Lanoon will make a beeline straight for the prey at full run. This Pokemon is capable of topping 60 miles an hour. <laughs> it has to come to a screeching halt before it can turn. <laughs> it is the Swerve Star. 
It is exceedingly fast if only if it only has to run a straight line. When it spots a pond dwelling prey underwater, it quickly leaps in and catches it with its sharp claws. Now how does it swim? It can't. It it only moves in straight lines and you're moving up and down when you're in the water. Oh no. But yeah, it specifically says it's essentially thwarted by moving out of the way.